What's going on guys? So today I'm going to show you how to open audiobooks in Windows 10. So as you can see here, I have this audiobook called Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins that I've been listening to and I don't have iTunes on this computer, but I still want to open this audiobook file and it's a .m4b file. So thankfully there is a way to do this in Windows without having to download any software. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do this real quick. Um, you want to go to the start menu down here, click start, and just start typing default apps. Now you can just start typing regardless if you have this search bar or not, because once you click the start menu and start typing, it's going to search for you. That's how Windows 10 works. So click default apps right here. And then scroll down here and select choose default apps by file type. Now, I'm just gonna open this file extension thing back. Um, so as you can see, this is a .m4b file. So that's what we need to look for um, once this loads. Basically, what we're gonna do is change the default app that opens this file extension. And then it'll just be able to open this every time and you'll be able to listen to your audiobook whenever you want. Um, by default, Windows doesn't have something that opens this, so you have to select it yourself. There's a couple ways of how to do this, but um, I just think this is the best way to do it because it's just going to take care of it once and then you won't have to worry about it again. The only issue is, as you can see here, this takes a little bit to load because there's a lot of file types. Okay, so now that this is loaded, we need to look for .m4b. Scroll all the way down to dot M. Okay, here it is. So right now I have it opening with Windows Media Player and that's actually what you want to select. So you're going to want to go next to dot M4B and click this and then select Windows Media Player. Now, once that's selected, you can just close this. Um, and then actually, hold on. It's lagging a little bit. <laughs> Because once you uh, change what opens this file extension, it has to change the setting across all of Windows. So just let it load, it's, do its thing a little bit. Okay, it's loaded now. So I'm going to close this, go back to where I have my audiobook, and now it's going to be opened by Windows Media Player. You can see the little icon has been changed here, and I'm going to double click. Now. This will pop up. This selected file extension is not recognized, but it still may be able to play it. This is actually fine. So just select yes. If you don't want this to pop up again, you can check this off and then select yes. And I'm just going to select yes right now. And this just... is Audible. Lion Crest Publishing. As you can see, the audiobook plays. So that's how you do it in Windows. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please drop a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.